one thing I always thought was interesting about the name Zen, the intergalactic ninja, it's like ninjas are so violent, but then this character has like the like the Zen, like you know, mm-hmm. like he's so yeah, like the meditation. Is was there a reason you did yeah. like, that blending of violence and serenity, I guess? Or? The reason I called him Zen was I was a big adherent of the philosophy of Zen Buddhism. Okay. And still am, because I think, you know, it's not, not the religion of Buddhism, but Zen Buddhism is typically termed a philosophy. Yeah. And, you know, to me, it's the like the greatest because it's very earthbound. It's very totally in the moment, you know, be here now. Don't let things r- razzle and dazzle and frazzle you, okay? And that's what I put into Zen's character. You know, why do you think this guy has lasted this long? I I think there are two reasons. One is, it's just that blue body of his, that blue aspect that Dan created that just, you know, is so attractive to so many people. But the other thing is his mentality, how he operates. Zen is a, you know, despite the fact that he's kind of violent and all that, uh, which is a controlled form of violence because he's a ninja, but he also is an adherent of, you know, uh, my version of Zen Buddhism. And that's why he communicates mentally with Master Sattva, who raised him on the planet Om. We can discuss that later. So, you know, he's just a character that was a blessing to me that just came together in the right way. And that's why he's clearly going to outlive me. I mean, I know this guy's going to be around like forever. That's awesome. That, yeah. And that's all we can ask for as creators is like that, yeah. you know, we're immortal through our creations, you know, yeah. and it's yeah. like, that is a cool, you, I think, I think you're right. I think Zen will be around, you know, for a long time, you know, oh, so yeah. Yeah. that's great. You know, and we mere mortals are not around for all that <laughs> yeah. long, you know? Yeah. you know, when you think of like, you know, Stan Lee's, pa- who hasn't passed curb, you know, right. So, right. Yeah, you know, right. And, and their characters and their creations. There's no cure for just, it yet. Go yeah. They... <laughs> soon as soon as they fix that one, I'm good. Right. The other thing that too was interesting too is like I think you were hitting it. This comic hit too when, if you think about the movies that were out at the time, there was a ton of ninja. Like Golan and Globus made a like a, a career off of putting out like ninja movies, you know. And I remember them fondly as a kid, like Revenge of the Ninja, American yeah. ninja. ninja, and all that yeah. stuff. Chris Farley, the Great White Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> Every Hills Ninja. That was, <laughs> yeah. that was mid-90s, I think. Yeah. But it, the late 80s, like mid to late 80s was like the ninja craze in the U.S. Blind too, Fury. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, did that have so any, dope. Like, did that have what? any, like, too steve or were you into the ninja movies as well or well not only not only was i but you may or may not know that zen was optioned twice for film and once for animation right? oh well, no wow. kidding uh, you know options are great they they give you some money which you keep regardless of whether or not during the option period where they have exclusivity to develop a, a film or a, a tv show uh and and the ruby spears company had the option to do uh, animation. Cool. They went out of business before they could ever produce it. But it, we were so far along that we, in the trades, like Hollywood Reporter, there oh, are ads. Shoot. There were ads for the animated wow. series, and uh, film-wise, uh, we were optioned twice. And the uh, the Cena Reeves <laughs> movie had already gone so far as to attach uh, the director Brian Usna. Who oh, Brian uh, was on? Re, you know, he did Reanimator. Yeah, uh, yeah. And did, uh, stuff. He did. Uh, he like, he made that director. Tim Vigil movie and, too. Uh, you know, he became a great friend. Um, but you know, a lot of things in Hollywood they go get to a certain stage of development and then they don't happen. Mm-hmm. The yeah. beauty part of this is, however, because there hasn't as yet been Zen animation or film, we still have the field open to do it now. That's cool. And, and animation's gotten and, so uh, much there better is now. In both of those areas. Now, again, whether or not it's going to happen, we don't know. Oh, I, but I hope believe it does. me, if Fingers and when it me. does happen, everyone will know. Yeah. And yeah, this is printed with Comics Wellspring. Came out beautiful. High quality stuff. 
people think it's fantastic. All the books that you see at my table are through Comics Wellspring.